Hi guys, this is Christian from swimtofly.com. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to swim breaststroke in three simple steps and one lesson. So the breaststroke is one of the strokes the more tricky on the coordination when you start to learn how to swim and when you're a beginner because it's all about symmetric movement and and pushing fast and relaxing and usually it's the stroke we will try to learn at the end when you can master the freestyle, the backstroke, the butterfly, then comes the brace stroke. With children is the more tricky strokes. But some people are very natural with brace stroke, which is a good point. Okay? And the kicking are natural. So this stroke is very different than the other strokes. You need to learn how to explode and glide and breathe and explode and glide and breathe. When all the other strokes are more in continuity, the breast stroke is not continuity. It's strong and, and glide, strong and glide, strong and glide. When the other, all the other strokes are more like, I keep my power all the time, okay? So the first step to learn how to swim breast stroke correctly and to learn how to glide like Superman when you do your breast stroke is to learn how to do the right kicking on breast stroke. The frog kick. A lot of people call this the frog kick because the frogs look like it. So you're gonna learn how to kick with your feet on the side and close your legs at the end. So be careful, the breaststroke kick is not like a kick and then after close. And kick and then after close. It's a motion where you kick closing your feet together in the same time. A bit like whoosh, in one movement, I kick and close in one movement instead of kicking, closing. Kicking, closing. This is not the correct movement. You're gonna kick and close and kick and close and when you kick you need to expose and kick and close when you kick you heel this is my feet huh? your heel here gonna push the water in the side your toes gonna be open when all your stroke your toes are flat here you're gonna open your toes to kick with all your feet on the side push the water on the side closing and finish with your legs straight and again okay so the stroke here in practice My feet are flat at the beginning, my knees straighten, my legs straighten. I'm gonna be ready. I read, I get my legs ready. I open my toes, I get my heel ready. I kick on the side, pushing the water with my heel, and then I close my feet at the end with my toes flat again. You see my toes are flat. Don't stay up with your toes, put it flat. So get ready, open your toes, kick and close your legs, flat and kick and close and then when you close you wait because at that moment you glide and when you glide you need to keep the arrow position like this gliding position and again kick and close the kicking needs to be powerful so you can kick faster kick and close and kick and close get ready slowly explode when you kick you have the power and explode and explode from it. If you are in the water, it will look like this. I'm into the water here, and I want to feel. I'm going behind, and kick and close, and kick and close, and kick and close, and kick and close. Okay. So remember, when you kick, you have the power. When you close, you need to glide. Your hand on the front, stay gliding. Okay. So step number one for the back, the, the brace stroke. Sorry, we're gonna learn how to do the kick and close, frog kick for five times non-stop with your hand gliding for one. Don't forget to blow your bubbles, looking down at the bottom of the pool, chin on your chest. Okay. So learn brace stroke, learn how to do the kicking, just gliding with hand. Arrow brace stroke. Okay, you are a beginner, you are learning, so take it easy, we practice again. One kick and close, two kick and close, okay, non-stop. Wait, for the 
breast stroke, your hands are side by side on the surface, okay? Don't do like this. People swim breast stroke like this, this is, this is pointless. When you swim breast stroke, stretching forward, you come and then at the end, you open your hand and you stabilize here, okay? Nobody swim breast stroke like this. Kick, 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 you are here. You come back here and then you stretch, okay? So this step number two now, since you know how to kick and you know how to glide on breast stroke, is to learn how to do the same thing, but every three, every third kick, you're gonna learn how to breathe with your hand. So when you wanna breathe on breast stroke, you need to double pull in the water with a little circle. Your hand stay in front of your shoulders. Don't do a big circle behind. This is not a lot, first of all, when you learn competitions, and then it's, it's losing a lot of time. And try to go up with your head when you start the pulling. So you pull and you breathe in the same time. You go back middle, your elbows goes at the middle, okay? And then you stretch your body again. When you stretch your body again, look down in the water to go back in the arrow position. So I pull, I breathe, go back middle, stretch your arms forward, go down with your head. Breathe and go down. Breathe and go down. So the step number two is to be able to do this skill every third stroke. So basically it will be one frog kick, two frog kick, three frog kick, breathe and go down. One frog kick, two frog kick, three frog kick, breathe and go down. Don't forget when you go down to blow your bubbles, chin on your chest. Step number two, let's practice. And go. Three kick, move your hand, and go back. You cannot do freestyle kick in between, remember? One more time. Step number two for the breast stroke. Now you know how to kick correctly, you know how to breathe at the end, but now the real breast stroke is actually being able to kick and glide and move your hand every time. So, step number three, learn how to kick and glide, breathe and repeat. Kick and glide, breathe and repeat. Kick and glide. The main common mistakes and I have seen all the time is people, they kick and instead of gliding, which is what you want, you want to glide, they open their arms. They kick open the arms. No. When you open the arms, you lose your speed. You lose your profile position. You, lo you lose the correct posture. When you kick, you want to do your superman. You want to go forward. Okay? So when you kick, just glide with your hand forward. Don't open your hands. You open your hand after glide. Kick, glide, long time, then breathe. And again, kick and glide, then breathe. Don't kick and open and do it. Wrong mistakes, we're gonna make something which is not really breast stroke. Breast stroke is all about kicking to look in the water and go forward, okay? When you kick, you go forward. Your power comes from the legs. The explosion of the kick gives you the power of gliding forward. So please don't open your hand try to stretch forward, okay? So we're gonna run the real breast stroke. One kick and glide, breathe. One kick and glide, breathe. One kick and glide, breathe. Let's try. See, when I kick, I try to go forward. I don't try to open. And I take my time. In my head, it's like, 
kick and glide, blow, blah, blah, blah. Kick and glide, blow, blah, blah, blah. Then when I feel I lose my speed, then I pull again for the breathing, okay? One more time. Alright, so this is the step number three to learn how to swim breaststroke. Remember, the breaststroke is all about gliding after the kicking, no more opening for no reason your hand. Try to feel the right sensation. Try to remember that every time you kick, what you want to do is to go forward. When you have that sensation, then you learn how to swim breaststroke correctly. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And uh, if you want to catch up with us more, and if you want to download the swimming method path, just visit this website, swimfly.com. We are ready to help you. Thank you very much.